everyone. I have some announcement for you. I want to share some announcements announcement with you guys. Um, I loaded up already two assignments for next week. The first one is the project. project and I'm going to show you. It's over here in your platform already. 7C over here. Now you will find a page that says World Civilization Final Project Instructions, due date at week number 10. Now, this week is week number nine. Now, you need to read the instructions over here. Now, the important thing here is this one, this. Over here, this one is the rubric that I'm going to use in order to evaluate this assignment, your final project. And if you click over here, it will open something like this. Uh, which one or civilization this one yes this is the information that you will find there in your um, in this uh, link okay now your assignment is this one history of Mesopotamia now it says in the project this student must break down chronologically chronological means significa chronologicamente como se van a dando los eventos de manera de manera ordenada en el tiempo no va a comenzar de los del final para atrás no sino simplemente del inicio como va avanzando hasta el final eso cronológicamente ya all the events that occurred during the time when Mesopotamia was developing the student can use as a reference the index model number three now what is the index model number three is this one let me show you guys let me show you now over here in the book here in your book, here in your book, if you if you go to the index model number three, and this is the one that we right now we are discussing, the fer fertile crescent Mesopotamia and the Persian Empire. We haven't touched them, but anyway, in the in your prior you need to talk about them. Now you can use this section, lesson one, two, and three, as a part of your uh, content information okay so that's why i say use model three and this information or you can you can get the information from here from here okay now let's move on let's move on over here oh, i'm in a little okay it's here now over here now in your document you do have several several sections now the first section is the presentation sheet la hoja de presentación and i have an example of how i how i want you to Present that sheet. Now the second part is the index. El índice, the index. The third part is the introduction. Then the content, and then the conclusion. You have to give me a conclusion of what you just studied or your research or you investigate. Okay, research. And the last one, the biography. Now over here, I'm going to explain it to you over here what each section one by one and how i want you to do this in in word in this prone word okay you have to type the document in this something like this okay now you need to use arial number 12 arial numero 12 okay you don't need to write everything is here in that document i pass you in medio one and a half space all the pages need to be numbered tiene que tener número las páginas okay Justify the paragraph. Justify the paragraph uh, is like this. If you go here, uh, well, no, here now, go back. Here, in the in, in, initial, now over here, you justify your page with that. It justif justify. If I justify, let's pretend I'm gonna justify, I'm gonna justify this section. Let me paint this. I'm gonna justify the, 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 the section in this way. Alinear a la izquierda. Ahora, alinear a la derecha. Se alinea toda la derecha. No, yo quiero que esté alineado aquí en el centro. No, aquí. De esta manera, ¿ok? That's why, eso, a eso me refiero. Justify paragraph, ¿ok? Now, uh, también aquí habla de, de la manera como deben de hacer las oraciones, los párrafos, cómo deben ser los párrafos. Uh, some examples. Now, this is the part that I want you to see. Now, this is the example of the first page that you need to create in your uh, in Word, okay? You need to get the, the logo, the, the, the name of the school, subject is Word Civilization, 
and then the name of the project, and then your name, the level, and the date, June 10, okay? Now let's move on. Now, in the index section, you need to write all the information that you are going to put here in the content. Now, list of logical order of the topics to be investigated. In the final project, make sure that the enumer enumeration goes according to the number of the page. Okay, now introduction. What is an introduction, guys? Introduction, it says, must contain a brief review. It's a brief, es un, un resumen breve de lo que vamos a tratar en la parte del contenido, okay? A eso se refiere una introducción, algo muy breve. Eso va en una página. El index va en una página. El contenido es la parte principal, the core, the main, the main investigation, okay? Now over here say, in this session, all the work carried out must be detailed with precision and eloquence, presenting the results obtained focus on the most important events in the era or period or history. No more than five pages, okay? In this content, you need to write maximum five pages. Only five, no more, no six, no 10 pages, only in this section, in the contenido, five pages. You have to summarize all the events in Mesopotamia, okay? You need to summarize it. Uh, and then, after that, then it goes the conclusion. In the conclusion section, it says this. The session, the most include the conclusion that the investigation has left to the investigator. Please, at least three conclusions. And here are some examples how to write a conclusion. Do not use this one. Do not use this. These are like samples, examples. Okay, these are examples how to write a conclusion. Now, then it comes the biography. Is where you get the information and then the gl glossary. Now, I'm pretty sure you're gonna run into new words that you don't know the meaning. Ustedes se van a encontrar palabras que no conocen. Entonces, para eso es el glossario. Now, in the glossary, you're gonna write solamente 10 palabras que ustedes no conozcan. La escriben ahí y le ponen su significado. Eso es un glossario con su significado. La palabra y su significado, ¿qué significa? ¿Entendido, chicos? Basically, that is the, 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 the topic, I mean, your assignment for next week, and I, I encourage you to start working uh, in that project, okay? Comiencen a trabajar en ese proyecto. Now, you have another, another assignment that is for next week. Now, you, this one, you can do it during the weekend. Y es el otro parcial que van a tener. Acuérdense que va a haber un foro. El foro va a ser la semana, the next week also. Yeah, the next week during during hours during our, our hours of class. Then, then during the weekend you have to do something. You need to watch this video. This video about about all the invents inven, inventions that the Sumerians create uh, back in those days. Okay, he says watch the video and see and select select one one of those inventions and write. How important and useful this invention is. Okay? Now write at least five lines expressing your opinion or answer. Now, that answer, after you watch, you have to select only one, remember, one, one invention. The wheel, uh, the, the writing, uh, the what else could be. Uh, different tools that they, they contribute. Um, Oh, a boat. Remember, they were the first one who, who used, who created boats and other things. Then you will see it there in the video. You have to select only one, and then you have to tell me why it's important, why it's useful, okay? Now, over here, you want to click here. If you click there, then it's going to open, and then you have to write over here, you need to write your opinion, no, your opinion or your answer, at least five lines, remember your answer. Then you're gonna write it over here, and also, you are going to write it in your notebook. Why? Because, because next week we are going to, you are going to talk about your answer. So the other guys, the other students uh, will hear you, talking about your answer. Why is your 
your invention, your favorite invention, ¿ok? You have to support your answer. You need to support. Support es, tiene que dar evidencia, decirme por qué. No solamente porque, ay, está chévere. Ah, because I like it. Because it's nice. No, you have to give me, you have to support. You need to give me the reason why you think that that uh, invention is important for you. Got it? Now, the day, the next week during the class, we're going to have everybody need to turn on the camera and we're going to start a discussion. Okay? Now, read this. On the other hand, the day when we are going to have the discussion, you need to talk about your answer in front of the camera. Then remember, after having answered the question, you must listen to your other colleagues. Tienen que escuchar a los demás compañeros. To ¿Qué es lo que ellos cogen? What they choose. Uh -huh. And then you, mu you must comment on two response from your colleagues regarding the invention they choose. Por ejemplo, por ejemplo, Brian escogió el bote y Melissa Santa María escogió que era la escritura. ¿Ya? La escritura. Entonces, Diego Rosete, Rosete, él, él dijo que lo más importante fue, eh, ¿qué puedo decir? Lo más importante fueron, de repente, the axe, por ejemplo, el hacha. Él dice que fue el hacha porque con el hacha se puede cortar la carne, se puede utilizar muchas cosas, puede cortar árbol, whatever. Ok. Now, Diego Rosete, ella dio su opinión. Ahora bien, él tiene que escuchar la opinión de los demás. Y él decidió hacer comentarios. He, he decided to make comments about Brian's decision and Melissa Santa María's decision. Okay, now, Rosetta is going to say, okay, about Brian's decision, he said that is the, the will. Yes, I agree, it's, it's the will because, uh, because of the will, we, we are able to, to, he was able to create a uh, different kind of transportation, like the car, the bicycle, things like that. So that's why it was also very important. And also about uh, Melissa San Santana, I, I think also, The, uh, what she chose, her invention, I think was also important. Why? Because of the, uh, because of the writing. Uh, they invent the writing and because of that, it's, it's easier to express our ideas or to gather information for future generations. For instance, es un ejemplo. Okay, boom, terminó ya. O sea, Rosette intervino, tiene que intervenir tres veces. Ya, y, y los demás también. Una vez dando su opinión sobre la invención, cuál es la que él decidió, que lo escribió en el foro, aquí mismo, en el foro, aquí mismo en la página, y lo escribió en su cuaderno. ¿Por qué? Porque ese día debe, debe tenerlo enfrente de él y, y decirlo, no de memoria, pero por lo menos expresarlo su idea, cuál fue la que él eligió. Y después él tiene que escuchar a los demás y él decidió comentar sobre Brian y sobre Melissa Santana. ¿Entendido, chicos? ¿Alguna pregunta? Tienen que intervenir tres veces para poder, y hay que ver si, si, si se expresan bien. Por eso que va a haber una rúbrica para evaluar the way you express your ideas. It's not easy. It's not easy, I know. But anyway, this is part of the evaluation. Okay, guys? Do you have any questions? Okay, it looks like nobody got a question. That's excellent. Okay, now, anyway, if you have any question, eventually, if any question comes up, Then uh, try to contact me through Neo, uh, text me, send me an email, and then I will try to explain you about your difficulty, like doing either the, the, um, the forum of discussion or the project. Okay, guys, now let's move on, and now let's go to our business. Teacher, Teacher hace rato se me fue el internet. Entonces, It doesn't no. matter. I'm, just, I'm recording this. Don't worry. I'm recording this. You just go back and at the end of the hour, you can go and, and try to pick up uh, what you miss. Okay? So don't worry. Okay. Gracias, teacher. Guys. That's why that's the idea when I start recording. So you can go back at any time and, and recover all the information that you missed. Okay? Now let's move on and talk about this one, another invention of the uh, Sumerians. Okay? About the writing. Main idea. The Sumerians invented the world's first writing system. The invention of writing. The Sumerians made one of the greatest cultural advances in history. 
They developed cuneiform, the world's first system of writing. But Sumerians did not have pencils, pens, or paper. Instead, they used sharp tools called styluses to make wedge-shaped symbols on clay tablets. Earlier written communication had used pictographs. Each pictograph represented an object, such as a tree or an animal. But in cuneiform, symbols could also represent syllables or basic parts of words. As a result, Sumerian writers could combine symbols to express more complex ideas, such as joy or powerful. Development of writing. Sumerian writing developed from early symbols called pictographs. This chart shows how some pictographs changed and developed over thousands of years. Sumerians first used cuneiform to keep business records. A scribe would be hired to document business transactions or keep track of the items people bought and sold. Government officials and temples also hired scribes to keep their records, including records of taxes that were collected. Becoming a scribe was a way to move up in social class. Okay, okay, let's see what else we got over here. Developing of graphic. Development of writing. Sumerian writing developed from early symbols called pictographs. This chart shows how some pictographs changed and developed over thousands of years. Sumerians first used cuneiform to keep business records. A scribe would be hired to document business transactions or keep track of the items people bought and sold. Sumerian Government writing. officials and Sumerians temples wrote on also hired tablets. scribes to keep their records, including records of taxes that were collected. Becoming a scribe was a way to move up in social class. I mentioned that already. Okay, uh, blah, 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 this one, okay. Sumerian students went to school to learn to read and write, but some students did not want to study. A Sumerian story tells of a father who urged his son to do his schoolwork. In time, Sumerians put their writing skills to new uses. They wrote works on history, law, grammar, and math. They also created works of literature. Sumerians wrote stories, proverbs, and songs. They wrote poems about the gods and about military victories. Some of these were epics. These stories are often an important part of a people's culture. Later, people used some of these poems to create the Epic of Gilgamesh, the story of the legendary Sumerian king. These new uses of writing changed the cultural life of Sumerians and those who followed them in Mesopotamia. Okay, let's see, advanced inventions. Main idea. Technical advances and inventions change Sumerian lives. Advances and inventions. Writing was not the only great Sumerian invention. These early people made many other advances and discoveries. Technical advances. Technological innovations and the use of domesticated animals improved the quality of life for many Sumerians. One of the Sumerians' most important developments was the wheel. They were the first people to build wheeled vehicles, including carts and wagons. Using the wheel, Sumerians invented a device that spins clay as a craftsperson shapes it into bowls. This device is called a potter's wheel. Okay, let's move on this one. The plow was another important Sumerian invention. Pulled by domesticated oxen, plows broke through the hard clay soil of Sumer to prepare it for planting. In addition to using domesticated oxen to pull plows, Sumerians also raised domesticated cattle, goats, and sheep to provide meat, milk, and wool. Sumerians used domesticated animals such as cattle to help pull heavy loads. The use of plows, like this one, increased food production. The Sumerians were among the first people in the world to build sailboats. 
Transporting goods along one of the great rivers on sailboats was much more efficient than using pack animals or carts with wheels. Sumerian advances improved daily life in many ways. Sumerians built sewers under city streets. They also invented a clock that used falling water to measure time. They even produced makeup and glass jewelry. Sumer was one of the places in the world that saw the start of the Bronze Age, when humans began making tools out of metals rather than stone. Sumerians learned that combining copper and tin formed a stronger metal called bronze. Stronger bronze tools made it easier for Sumerians to construct larger cities. And this is the last video. When bronze first hit the human scene, it transformed cultures extremely rapidly. Before bronze, you had copper. And you could dig copper out of the ground, you could melt it, you could hammer it, you could shape it when it's cold. So it would be good as a weapon, but it was just too malleable to really be effective. Somewhere around 3000 BC, somebody took two different metals and alloyed them together. Copper, which is a melting point of over a thousand degrees Celsius, and tin, which has a melting point of only about 200 degrees. Suddenly, it made a stronger metal. Once that innovation hit the ancient world, particularly in the Near East, everybody needs tin. Some places where you had good supplies of copper, you didn't have good supplies of tin. So for example, in Turkey, which was a major copper center, they needed to bring tin in from Central Asia. So tin's rareness combined with our human desires for the products of bronze make it extremely valuable for the ancients. Here you start to see the rise of literally international trade. They would bring the tin to Turkey, the artisans would make really high quality bronze and tools and other things out of it, and then they would begin to export those. Bronze has the ability to take on a number of different shapes, to take on a number of different weights, to be constructed into a number of different forms that can be useful to people as tools or weapons. And you could argue that it's not the tools that people are really interested in, it's the weapons. The importance of metal in uh, early societies can't be overestimated. An army equipped with bronze-tipped weapons. Okay, we don't have enough time, guys, so sorry. Uh, I spent too much time in uh, explaining all this assignment for you. Okay, now it's 10.45. Once again, guys, if you have any...